the future of this country and the whole world depends on us joining hands and fighting against these perpetrators of our planet. They steal, exploit and plunder the Earth's natural resources for what? For personal gain, greed and power. If we don't step up to them, no one will. Our time to fight is now. We must defend our planet. To all the politicians and company executives who only care about profits, how dare you? Did you see it? Can you zoom in and clear it up a bit? Of course. Wow, that looks like a hive structure. Indeed it is. Shared intelligence by GOC, no less, has forced us to look into this matter more deeply. The GOC? Really? Surprising, I know. This is how potentially dangerous they consider the situation. The source is a tiny one millimeter honeybee. One millimeter? Yes, which is why it's so hard to detect and control. They enter the brain and start to create a hive, eventually spreading throughout the body. What happens to the infected person, mentally? Nothing. Nothing? They retain their personality and memories. As far as we can tell, they eat parts of the brain and replace it with bees, which house those memories. Amazing! Uh, where are we off to? Amsterdam. The Netherlands? Why? There's a certain district, which seems to be spreading the infection alarmingly fast. We'll do our best! Oh, uh, did you, perchance, uh, happen to find any information on the other issue? I haven't yet, no. But rest assured, I will look further into 055. I appreciate it. But Lucius doesn't seem to know much about the current 055. Of course not. His authority was severely limited after the incident. Incident? None of your concern. Proceed to Amsterdam and keep us updated on your findings. Yes, ma'am. I mean, 052. Vacation. For the third time, new work. Work, vacation, they go together. I've never been to Amsterdam. Me neither. But I thought you were from there. What? Why? Because your dad. He was German. And... He spoke Dutch, and Dutch is what they speak in Amsterdam. I am so confused. What are you talking about? Dutch. Germans speak Dutch. Aren't we going to Germany? Deutsch, you idiot. Germans speak Deutsch. Dutch speak the Dutch. Oh. Oh, okay. Tomato, tomato. Vacation's a vacation. Work. Yep, that's what I said. Taking a nap. See you on the ground. Hey, this place is pretty nice. It is, right? See that shop over there? Yeah. It's all legal here. For real? Should we? Well, no. Of course not. Maybe a after we're through here, though. So, tell me a bit about this case. Teeny tiny bees infect your brain and build a hive. Great. Just great. And where do we find these things? That's the fun part. You'll see tonight, my dear Chen. Whenever you say, my dear Chen, I get worried. See, what were you worried about? Well, this definitely wasn't what I was expecting. It's called De Wallen, the Walls. It's the red light district of Amsterdam. If you were going to spread some sort of viral contagion, where would be the best place? Exactly. So your job is to find a... Suspect and interrogate her. Interrogate her? Try to find someone infected, basically, to conduct experiments and investigate on. The things I do for the Foundation. Hi there. Oh, hi. Have you ever been to Devalin before? First time. Well, why don't you come inside? Tonight can be a night of many firsts. Well, why not? I'm on vacation. Make yourself comfortable. I'm just going to set the lighting a bit and take some of these uncomfortable clothes off. You got it. You 
ready, baby? I hope so. Morning, Doc. Could you keep it down? What happened to you last night? Let's just say I made some new friends and they know how to have a good time. Well done. Working hard as always. How'd you make out? Well, while you were drinking Amsterdam Dry, I found a bee. You did? Yes, sir. And where is it? Already handed over to the local agents. She's anesthetized and loaded onto the plane. Well done, Chen. Well done. Someone had to get the job done. Now, about that shop. I did you a favor. You know what would happen if you flew home with that stuff? It's illegal there. You said we'd have a chance to try some before leaving. Well, priorities changed. More like you're too hungover and just want to sleep it off on the plane. Either way, get some sleep. It's 11 a.m. in the morning. Well, I'm going to get some sleep then. <sighs> Tough being the responsible one all the time. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> What is that? Beekeeper suits. Mandatory anytime someone comes into this wing. Wait, so why'd you let me find her without any protection? Oh, <laughs> well, you, uh, you had to blend in. Did you just risk my brain to catch a bee? Look, I, considering the chances, the odds, and the importance of the whole operation, I'm much too valuable, especially my brain. Yours... Well, I figure it's relatively unused, so a small loss if you can affect it. I think all those drinks damaged a couple of your brain cells. That is an interesting specimen you have for me today. Yeah, sort of a half-human, half-bee thing. Could you have a quick look through her memories and see if you can find anything? Sure. Won't you be staying? I've got to rush back to 052 to update her on the situation. All right, then. Thanks again, Pythia. So you managed to find a specimen? Yes. From the little that we were able to ascertain, Chen might just have found the original host or close to it. Why do you think that? Her face has already turned half B, which I understand to me that she was quite far along in her procession to being a full B or whatever the final stages are. That would seem about right. Hmm. Well done, then. Everything... all right? Fine, fine. Continue your experiments and keep me abreast. Of course, ma'am. Hey, how's it going? Fascinating, actually. Pythia wanted me to tell you she found nothing out of the ordinary. Really? Huh. Then perhaps she wasn't the original host. Well, she did say the memories were somewhat scattered and hard to search. That would be because of all the thousands or millions of bees housing her memories. She might not have been able to locate the memories accurately. She did say something along those lines, yeah. So, what have you found? Well, I've tried feeding the bees from different flowers. Depending on the plant, it seems to affect her mood and personality to some degree. Have you had her awake? Yes, just for testing, and then I knock her out again. Nice. There's also this. Ew, what is that? Seems to be honey. Brain honey. Yeah, want to try some? Don't even think about it. So the only thing we haven't really looked further into at this time is the honey. I would avoid that, Kloss. Could be poisonous. I'm sure it's just a byproduct anyway. Nonetheless, it does require further experimentation, but that's not my main concern. And what is? How was this not spread sooner? It's a potential outbreak scenario, yet up to this point it doesn't seem to have spread until the Amsterdam incident. What are you insinuating, Doctor? That this was intentional. Someone released this in a highly populated, intimate area on purpose. Just who do you suspect? That I have no idea about. 
Uh, um, another faction, a genius madman. I've given orders for containment in Amsterdam and to eliminate all possible infections. Uh, the GOC is on the case as well, and besides sharing information, they've also provided us with bee trackers. What? You gave this order without my permission? I... I assumed you would have agreed, ma'am. Was I wrong? No, no, of course not. Well done, Dr. Kloss. If you would please excuse me, I have a meeting to attend. Um, of course, ma'am. Something isn't adding up. Why did 052 seem to hesitate to contain Amsterdam? Why did this apocalypse suddenly begin out of nowhere? Someone must be behind this. Well, time to take one for the team! You ready, honey? Sure. It was her all along. She took control of the investigation to keep us close and divert suspicion when necessary. Where are we going? Overseer Council. Okay, I'm out. Listen, it was 052, the gardener, all along. She released the bees in Amsterdam. She's kept us on a short lease to make sure we wouldn't ruin her plans. 052, I know it was you. Ah, Dr. Claus. Finally, we meet. Who are you? 05-5, or as you know me, Cyrus. Cyrus. Please excuse us for now. We'll be discussing your insubordination and lack of respect for the chain of command later. Now, if you don't mind, the Queen and myself have other matters to attend to. SCP-3368. Object Class, Keter. Declassified. SCP-3368 is Apis Animo, a species of honeybee that exclusively makes hives in the brains of living creatures. A finished hive displaces a large volume of the brain, but researchers have not been able to observe any statistically significant changes in the infected's personality and memory. Tests have shown that a portion of the worker bees spend the majority of their time in the hive and do not assist in food or bee production. It is currently theorized that these worker bees, dubbed mine bees, perform the tasks that were previously performed by the removed portions of the brain. 3368 displays numerous traits that allow for them to covertly and efficiently construct hives. They have an average size of one millimeter. Their hair and shape allow for easy movement through tight spaces, while the wings of 3368 do produce a buzzing noise while the bees are in flight. This is below the hearing level of the average person. They possess serrated mandibles, which can easily tear through most forms of flesh. Their stinger produces an unknown substance that has been shown to have similar properties to numbing solutions and mild amnestics. The 3368 research team has found that the pinkish-red honey produced by 3368, noted as 3368-2, has hallucinogenic properties when consumed. Testing has shown that these hallucinations have a strong correlation to the memories and feelings of 3368-1 instance that the honey was harvested from. Extensive testing has shown that the pollen or nectar of certain flowers can temporarily alter the personality of an infected individual. Routine psychological analysis of quarantine 33681 instances have shown an increase in pro-cooperation, pro-feminist, and pro-environmental views. Subsequent autopsies on 33681 individuals who have been infected for more than a year and a half have shown that after the brain has been fully modified, 3368 will begin to expand the hive throughout the body. Keep your friends close and your enemies closer. Be careful who you put your trust in. As always, have a care and remember to subscribe, like, and share, if you would. Until next time, farewell. <laughs>